start with the aftermath of tropical storm Ophelia. As the storm moves away, some of our local areas down at the shore are tracking the threat of even more coastal flooding. Yeah, this after the weather canceled several events this weekend, left so many people without power. Check out this video of strong waves crashing into some kids standing near a seawall. This was in North Wildwood as people were out and about celebrating the annual Irish Fall Festival despite that weather. We have live team coverage. Meteorologist Brittany Boyer is tracking how long this wet weather will stick around. But first, Action News reporter Katie Catro is live in Atlantic City with more on another round of storm cleanup. Katie. That's exactly right, Sarah. It is a wet and windy day down here at the shore, and you can see a lot of the damage that the storm left from over the weekend. You can see this beach erosion here. This is what beach officials are now having to deal with, trying to fix what was taken away. We, we had a lot of erosion down the beaches, a lot of the sand. We lost a lot of sand over the weekend. It's been a dreary day on Atlantic City's boardwalk. The winds and rain from this weekend caused some damage to the beach. We put bathing restrictions in place. You know, we're open to the end of the month, so we uh, we didn't allow any swimming over the weekend. Uh, the water was out of control. Uh, dangerous waves, dangerous riptides, a lot of good uh, big storm surge. This is video from this weekend showing just how bad the storm got with the winds picking up and the rain coming down hard. The weather also dampened sales for businesses that are open year round. This weather is not good for the business at all. Saturday was horrible. It was, you know, flooded and everything. Margate also experienced some beach erosion. Maybe uh, six inches to a foot as far as the height of the sand. Now beach towns will have to focus on trying to fix what was taken. We would hope for another sand pump, um, you know, which they've been doing every three or four years for the last, uh, at least the last 15, 20 years that I'm aware of. Um, so we'd have to uh, go back to the Army Corps and see if that's in the, in the works, if that's in their plans for the uh, future. And officials down here at the shore say hurricane season does stretch into November, so they do expect more damage to come in the coming months. They say now is a good time for people who have second homes down the shore to make sure they take all their outdoor furniture inside. Reporting live here in Atlantic City, Katie Catro, Channel 6, Action News. Brian and Sarah.